You see it yet? Shark jawbone test. May have to refresh. Can you refresh a page? Am I on yet, Will? Yeah, I should be coming on. She's over Mosby. Mosby. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the link. And I'm going to send it to you. Okay, I'm going to send a link to your email. Okay, hold on. Can you get on your face? Can you get on your Facebook? Okay, I'm gonna send it to you on Facebook. Just checking your messages. All you gotta do is click on it. Okay, uh, I'll call you back in a minute, or just text me. And let me know that you got it. Okay. Okay. Bye. Am I live yet? That's when you do this. Huh? Can you hear me well? Can you see the comments? All right. Did it pop up? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. It's some, sometimes you just gotta do things different ways. So, but you see me on the phone talking to you, or you see me? Uh, am I? Okay. <laughs> All right, Skylar, you can come back, but but you're gonna have to be quiet when I'm talking. All right, I'm gonna just go ahead and start it. Okay. Yeah, just down in the comments at the bottom of the video, just uh, Will will be monitoring the comments and stuff because he's he's at the next table with the iPad, and I'll just start. Okay, bye. Hey, this is Will Slace, and this is Paracord This. Before I use the name Sweet Baby James, but I don't think I'm going to use that name anymore. I found out that Sean Hannity uses it on his radio show, and that might be somewhat of a um, trademark or copyright infringement. All right, Skyler, will you hand me the um, uh, shawl jawbone, shark jaw, the shark jawbone bracelet, please? Thanks. Can I borrow your um, charger, Santi? No, no, nope. no one's borrowing my charger. Okay. All right, I'm gonna make a seven and a half inch uh, shark jawbone bracelet, and this is what it looks like. Okay, and to be safe when you to, to take out any guesswork, when you make a bracelet, you need to use a foot for every inch. So for seven and a half inches, I've already cut seven and a half feet of pink, 
and seven and a half feet of black. You can see that. Okay. I don't have the ends burned yet, but we're gonna um, go from start to beginning. How do I sound? Good. Okay. You see any comment shed on there? All right. What you're gonna need to make this is, of course, a seven and a half foot of string, a five eighth inch buckle, some needle nose pliers, which are optional. Your preferred flattening tool, I use this Gerber file. A cutting tool, I just found out about this new cutting tool. Um, it's pretty neat. It cuts way better than scissors, but I think it's called an end clipping tool. Works real good. And of course, my favorite tool of all is this uh, torch. You can use a torch or you can use a um, lighter. All right. Now here's what I'm gonna do. First of all, this is somewhat of a test run, but it's actually not a test, this is actually video, actual video. So if you watch it, you will learn how to make this bracelet. In the future, um, there will be call to actions. For instance, I'm gonna ask you to maybe subscribe to get videos that I won't post up here, or maybe even um, some products that I create to give away. But uh, what I'm gonna do now at this point is, you're gonna have to bear with me. I'm gonna move the camera down on my work area so that you can see me begin this bracelet. All right. So oh, and there's one thing I forgot to say you might need. Um, when I meld cords together, I like to use a piece of uh, paper to tell you how and why in a minute. Okay, let me zoom in some. Let me change the focus. How's that looking, Will? Okay. Adjust the colors just a little bit. And just intensify the colors just a little bit. All right, here we go. So we got pink and we got black. We got about feet of each. And when I cut my cords, what I like to do is I like to burn the ends so that they don't fray. And as you can see, they're already starting to fray. So what I'm going to use is my hand torch to do that. Let's see. Burn that in. Use my needle nose pliers to flatten it. This is so that your ends don't fray when you're working with the cord. And as you can see, that's what it looks like. Okay. I'm going to take the pink cord in and do the same thing. Looks like it's already done, but I'm going to make it a little bit flatter. There we go. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to melt these cords together. So get your favorite cutting tool, make a nice clean cut. Um, I'd like to have a white piece of paper. Will, could you grab me a white piece of scrap paper? I'm going to cut these clean with that cutting tool. This I got this from Menards. I think it was about nine bucks, but it cuts real well. You'll see in a minute. How well it cuts. Put this in there. And I 
That's not bad for one cut, is it? I think it's pretty good. And that's how it should look about like that. Okay. Put that back. Thanks, Will. Yeah, my what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to make a decent enough weld. Not weld, but I'm gonna melt these together without making them too ugly. If you can't hear me, comment in the comment section. And if you are here and you can hear me, comment in the comment section just so we know that we got some people here. I hold this together for about nine seconds. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this paper and kind of roll it, make it kind of flat. You get something that kind of looks like that. That's not that bad. Okay, hold on for a second. I got to change my my um white balance because that paper looked kind of blue. Got to warm it up. All right. Okay. So we got everything welded like this, right? And this is live, folks. If I make a mistake, you're going to see the mistake made. And you're going to see me correct it because that happens when you're when you doing paracord and stuff. Um, well, any comments? But do me a favor. Put your phone away. This I need you to pay attention to what's going on here, please. Kids these days, I tell you what. All right, so we got a bracelet, got a buckle right here. We're going to begin. So on this end, we're going to shove these in here. And like I said, if I make a mistake, you're going to see it. You're going to see the mix-ups. You're going to see everything. I shove that in there like that. We're gonna shove this in there like that. William, you got TT Shell's number? She's not commenting. I wanna see if she can see it. See if she's on the, watching it. Okay. I shove those in there. You wanna take this? We actually want this. Okay, cool. Did she comment? You didn't see the comment because you're not paying attention. Hit refresh. Let me see it. Hold on. Hold on, people. I got to see something. Let me see it. You got it? You got the comment. Okay, coming back to her. That's what I have you here for. You have to pay attention. You got to be on that, okay? <sighs> All right, we're going to fix it so that the uh, weld is not um, in a loop. So this is how I like to do that. I'll take this up like this, okay? And I stop so that the weld's right here because we want the weld to be hidden, right? Right. Huh? Huh? Menards? Question was, where did I get the cutting tool from? Get it from Menards. Oh, I think they use that to cut the end of fences or something like that. I don't, I don't know. I think so. I saw it one in a paracord, paracording video, but I forget who I was watching. I was like, man, that's pretty uh, precise and powerful. Okay. So I'm going to bring this down like this. And you see I have the weld right there, right? All right. Pull my cords through. And I'm going to want this well to go up a little bit further. So I'm going to adjust it some. Folks, please excuse my bossiness on these videos right now. But I'm just trying to get this stuff done. Who's ever uh, helping me. I want them to be on board and do what they're supposed to do. My 17-year-old son. Yeah. William. All right. We got that, right? You see it? Okay, 
we take the other end and we're going to make this about a seven and a half bracelet so we're going to take the other end and we're going to shove that through there from the top right try to keep all the twisties out we'll go upstairs and tell them to stop please they're making a little bit too much noise tell them that it's going to be heard in this video okay all right we're going to size it now pull those apart size it all right So it looks about like this. I wonder how is this showing up in the camera? Is it showing up upside down? If it's showing up upside down, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this around. I think I'm going to turn this around. Is it showing up upside down in there? Online? It is. It's, it's, this is not how. It is showing up upside down. Isn't it? So it should be. It should be. I should be doing it this way, right? Yeah. Okay, so I gotta adjust this camera. I forgot what I'm gonna do with this camera. Hmm. I might try this. I don't know, Skylar. All right. That's way too close. Okay, we'll flip it later. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Um, I'm thinking about something, folks. I'm trying to think how can I make this so that this is changed. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to extend this cord. We're going to go over to the table, and we're going to have it fixed so that so that it's um, the right way. Be right back. Skylar, come here. When you're done using the restroom, Skylar, you're going to come down here and you're going to sit on the couch because you're making too much noise. All right? <clears throat> okay, folks, I'm going to move these lights over here to the table. I'm just going to move one. Let me know how it looks, Will. <clears throat> I'm going to move the camera, the webcam over here. I might not have to do that. I just thought of something. Whew, this is ad living at its best, isn't it? Uh, hold on. Stay with me. I might just have to turn this around like this. <laughs> she's tripping now, I bet. But she's like, what the hell? Nope, that didn't matter. <sighs> She said, what? Yep. Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're just going to do it upside down. And the next time I do one of these videos, I'm going to have it on a boom. Just looking over me. Tell her, tell her to sit tight. Tell her to sit tight.
I am still here. I'm just setting something up. I'm setting up a boom. We're going to get this right. See, you guys are in the making of history, right? I am doing this, and we're going to get it right. I'm doing this, and it's probably something I should have did before. But that's the power of uh, doing stuff. You can't always wait till uh, – y'all like my commentary? You can't always wait till things are perfect to do something, you know? Sometimes you just got to go with it. And if you always wait until things are perfect, you might not ever – get anything done and my thing is this I am that type who likes to wait till everything's perfect but nothing gets done when you wait till everything's perfect and right now I'm setting this boom up that I'm gonna put the uh, webcam on so that you can see me doing this correctly and so you won't have to turn your head and say man that's upside down right that's what I'm doing I'm setting up this boom all a boom is is an arm that holds a um, a light or, in this case, a camera. Ask her if she's still there. Okay, I'm taking the camera off of this tripod. And I'm about to put it on the boom. All right. On the boom. Got it on the boom. She still there? All right. There we go. This is what I'm talking about. This is how it should look just about. We're going to get the focus and everything in real good. And we're going to be set. I want you to practice next perfect. <laughs> oh, tell I said thank you. That was so sweet. She said, poor Sky, all his business on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> she said, all your business on YouTube. T.T. Shell said that. She said, poor Sky. All right. Here we go. We're getting close. All right. Let me make sure my focus is okay with the camera again. Fix my focus. All right, we're going to see what autofocus can do. Okay, here we go. We are going to begin to move further. Let me see what it looks like on there. Is the pink going over to the right on there, Will? But is the pink going over to the right? Okay, we're good then. All right, I'm about to uh, take autofocus off and fix this. Let's just try autofocus. All right, here we go. All right, this is how you start. First of all, we're going to make sure that's the right size, and I want it to be about the same size as this one. So, this one's about seven and a half inches. Starting from that edge, going all the way down there. So, we're going to have to make this a little bit longer. And that should do it, right? They're about the same. I'll tighten this up a little bit more. Okay. I'm going to flip it over this way. Pull those strings out to the side. Now, to anchor these two center strings, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a regular cobra hitch, okay? And since I want my pink to be the outside accent color, I'm going to – actually, I'm not going to start with a regular cobra hitch. I'm, 
Yeah, I will. I'll start with the regular Cobra Hitch just to be on the safe side. I shouldn't. No, I'm not going to. I'm going to start the weave. All right. You take this over the first one, then you take it in between and out the back, right? Now, straighten up. Make sure everything's straightened. Keep that loop there, okay? You're going to take this one. You're going to take it over this. You're going to take it over this, through the middle, and out through that loop, all right? So it's going to go like this. Couch. Go get on the couch. You don't have to get on the couch. You can, you can come watch. Just try to be a little bit more quiet, all right? No, nothing's going to be perfect. I'm not even perfect in this video. So go. You can come in here. Come on. Come on. You can even come video. Well, you can't video bomb it because it's facing the um, desk. All right. We got that first one in there. We're going to tighten it up and try to keep the length of the bracelet the same, but we're going to tighten it up. Okay. Tighten it up. 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 All right. Before we continue, we're going to double check, make sure that the length is still where we want it. If it's not, we can adjust. And it's about where we want it. That should be about where I need it to be. And we're going to keep going, all right? You just basically do the same thing you did in that first one over and over and over again. Let me tighten this pink one up just a little bit. All right, now you take the black one over the first strand, underneath the second strand, bring it over there. Take this over that one, over that one, through the middle, up through this loop. How's the focusing, William? Guys, let me know if there's any echo or anything or if there's a lot of focusing issues. I'm doing this on the fly because I want to get knock this one out. And you just tighten it up, push it up or cinch it up, tighten it up, push it up, right? You do the same thing. Black over and under. pink over the black and over the pink through the middle and up through this loop and you tighten it up starting to take shape okay and you just keep going we're gonna make this whole bracelet in this video okay I'm going to turn my cell phone off because these text messages are bugging me. And it was using up the Wi-Fi. So again, again, this is called the uh, shark jaw. Shark jaw bone. Try to help him get this done. I know you guys don't want to be on here all day. Black goes over the first one, underneath the second one, underneath the second one. Pink goes over the two black ones underneath, comes out there. Tighten it up. Try to keep everything straight. 
Try to keep the sides even. Looking good, looking good. Keep going. Any more comments, Will? One, the trickiest part about making braces like this, especially if you don't have a jig, is to make sure that they're even in width. And you can pretty much use your previous knot to make sure that they're even. And you kind of, you want the line to be able to go down like that. So, down the sides. Because like now this is bulging out a little bit further. All I have to do is tighten it up to get it in there. Push up. So, that makes the bracelet look a lot better. Makes it uniform. Doesn't look like uh, someone who doesn't know what they're doing made it. You know, it stops it from looking like that. It looks higher quality I'm trying to make this snappy this live hangout unlike regular YouTube videos regular YouTube videos of course I can um I can uh, fast forward to the end, but I know I saw on um, a forum that I belong to, someone said they would like to see the whole video. And yeah, I could have posted the whole video, but I also like live interaction and I wanted to make sure that I had this uh, hangout thing done. You can flip it over every once in a while and see the opposite pattern and also it helps you make sure that your weave is right because if this is off, that means you did something wrong along the way. You got to go back and do some backtracking, make it right. But um, tighten it up, straighten everything out, push it up, pull that, pull that, keep going, take the black, flip over the first strand. Through the middle and underneath the second one. Take the pink, flip over the black, flip over that first strand, go under, right, through there. Tighten it up. Where are you going? My uh, my uh, producer, one of my producers stepped away from his station. I got all types of staff members walking around here. This place is a this studio's busy. It's hopping. No one knows how to stay in their own uh, areas. They're just coming, um, messing up my thing. It's like this, this is an Anchorman movie or something. I am a real journalist. Anyway. Also, I, I probably need to talk more. This um, this, this video is going to be after this live uh, telecast. It's going to be saved on my channel. You can always come back and watch it unless I take it down to see what <clears throat> I did. Can someone be bring me a glass of water, please? You can use this glass. Advertise it. What's it called? 
write down the name of it so I can pronounce it right. But wait till I'm done. And you, you got to ask. Well, I guess you don't have to ask me before I start. You ad lib a lot of stuff. But uh, why didn't you tell me you want me to um, advertise your bracelet? Hey, yeah, speaking of that, bring the rest of my bracelets over here. <laughs> You're pretty smart. Bring them over here. We'll get them close so I can grab them in a minute after I'm done doing this. <sighs> Thank you, son. I appreciate that. Mm, 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 mm. I have to take a drink of water. Just, just close, just like right there. Yeah, that's fine. Black over the first one, under the second one. See? See that? And this is going to go over there. This is going to go over there, right? It's going to go underneath, underneath, and through there, right? And I'm going to pull it through. Can somebody comment and say they're getting this? Make sure that. Put that phone down. Give me your phone. Look for the name of what? Oh, okay. All right. Sorry. Man, you're just making me seem like the overbearing parent on this. Because you know you know who's going to be uh, broadcasting next, right? You. You're going to show them how to make that bracelet. Because <laughs> I don't know how to make it. Oh, don't worry about your fingers. My fingers are jacked up, too. You so questions about your fingers? Don't worry about your fingers. It's the content. It's what you show people. Look, I'm trying to think of some, some weird-looking... Okay, I know beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but look at Seal, man. His face is all burned up, and he got hit records, and he married some supermodel chick. Seal, he's a singer. Some dude look like they do acid on his face. Okay, okay. Um, it's just all types of people who are doing stuff like this. Don't let your self-consciousness stop you. You think I'm completely secure doing this? I'm not. My hands don't look the best. They're ashy and jacked up. So, guys, 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 you have to keep the noise down because this microphone picks it up, okay? Don't let your finger stop you, all right? <laughs> and plus, you can show your um, face and they're like, those fingers belong to that handsome guy. <laughs> all right. Anyway, we're going to keep going, keep going. We're going to keep going until we get down to the end. My son's all conscious because his fingers. Get the heck out of here. Get out. I made that a little bit too tight. That's about as tight as I want it. All right. Well, what are you doing? How come you're not? You, you're supposed to stay over there by the um comments. Why do you keep getting up doing stuff? And I could do this a lot faster if I had my jig, but I know most people won't get jigs. And I want you to know how I do this without a jig. And that's actually like one of the best ways to learn is without a jig. And you don't need all the tools that I showed you to make bracelets. You can start actually with, heck, a regular lighter and a knife. You can cut your paracord with your knife with a knife and use your lighter to burn it. Uh, you can get some pliers or something that'll press it to squeeze it to you know to flatten the ends or whatever but you don't need all that um fancy i guess fan it's not really fancy but you don't need the same tools that i need you know a knife or scissors can cut your paracord and a regular lighter will burn it and melt it the way you need it melted it's just that once you start selling a few of these or you have a little bit of extra money you can reinvest into it and get some um tools that make things a lot easier for you you know like that torch the, tor the torch burns paracord a little bit cleaner and a lot faster because it's, it's a hotter flame than the um, lighter does. And you can also can control the torch. And there was a time I had a flea market uh, selling paracord and making paracord, although that, that wasn't too good of a selling venture. But, you know, I had to try it. But I was making, finishing up some paracord, and it was a slight wind, and the lighter wasn't working too well kept burning my face not my face but my hand <laughs> so 
So I looked at more videos and I saw, ooh, some they got a torch on there. That torch, I gotta get one of those torches. But you do have to refill the torch with butane. And I'm gonna grab it real quick. This bottom part right here. You can adjust it. I don't know if you see the plus and minus, but you can adjust it, but you fill it with butane through there and it lights up. See that? So let's continue. We're going to get this whole thing done. This was a bracelet that someone purchased, paid for today. I have one more to make for them, a, a local high school color. But this is the one she wanted pink and black. She said, take my time. Oh, I thought I was taking my time. <laughs> okay, I'll slow down. All right. All right. Cinch it up. So I'll make a whole bunch of these and send them. She said, I made something you don't know how to make. She did. What was she made? No, she said, I did. Oh, yeah. Tell, tell her, you guys are killing me. First, the girls did that one. Double color Solomon that I didn't know how to make back then, and you, you done made too that I don't know how to make. Heck yeah, I don't, I can only I'm gonna show y'all what, what I definitely know, <laughs> what I've made. I forgotten how to make some things. I'm mean, index cards how with the you know how to make what? You do? I'm gonna have to see you do that. Uh oh, see I think sometimes when I talk and do these. I get them jacked up, but that's part of the adventure of paracording. Okay, pull that under. See that? I only have a few, if not just one person looking at this right now. When we do another one, there'll be more people. You'll be able to comment. I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to have this hosted on Facebook or if I'm just going to send out the link for this YouTube channel. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I want to get the feel of running one of these. Okay. I'm going to slow it down and show you again. All right. You take the black cord, I'll move the camera a little bit. All right, you take the black cord over this first, right? And we're gonna bring it under the second one. Straighten it out so you don't have that thing in there. How are we doing on time, Will? 42 minutes, okay. So you got that loop, right? Then you're gonna take this pink, you're gonna take it over this, you're gonna take it over that one, you're gonna take it through there, under, and then you tighten. Okay, we're going to try to hurry up and get this done because I think we've been here for, you said 42 minutes, son? 42 minutes. And I, I got to work tonight. I got to work third shift. I'm going to be feeding my ego. I'm going to be watching this on my break, I guess, yeah. That's how dedicated I am. What, what do you mean? I just love this, this paracord stuff. It's pretty neat. Why I didn't discover it sooner. It's so therapeutic to create something with your own hand. Because today, in this day and time, I mean, everybody's like just buying stuff. Just buy, buy, buy. I want to buy that. When do you actually get to create something? Nobody even writes letters anymore. Everybody's emailing. Who knows? You do? Who you like write letters to? 
write letters to friends. Well, yeah. Well, my daughter just said she writes letters to her friends. Okay, she's fibbing on my um live hangout, so disregard anything she has to say in the future. She's special. Anyway, um, yeah, nobody. I guess people do make stuff. They make meals for their family, but it's just a neat feeling to make something with your bare hands. You guys aren't having side conversations while I'm doing this, okay? You can have those upstairs, all right? Okay? Cool. And people are just so rude these days, too. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah. Don't make me get all Aunt Fee up on you. <laughs> Shell, if you're watching, I forgot to see that link. I'll see that link. Aunt Fee is a trip. And if Aunt Fee can do with this, anybody can do it. It's for real. See something else. Out of South Central LA. Aunt Fee. We're getting down to the wire, folks. Let's see what it looks like so far. Ooh, I like that. I like it, like it, like it, like it. That's awesome. Yep, we'll keep going, keep going. You know what really cracks me up? Kids, when they try to be sneaky, and don't think that you know that they try to be sneaky. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Especially my daughters, man. There's something else. This picks you up. This that whispering it does pick you up. This is a very sensitive microphone. All right. How are we on time? Well, forty-six minutes. All right. Okay, we're about to get to the point to where we're going to need to use the needle nose or some hemostats. Uh, hemostats are kind of like needle nose pliers, but they're just a little bit thinner. Will, could you grab the hemostats out of the uh, my equipment, please? Because it's about to be a tight squeeze. Sir, these are hemostats, very thin, they can fit through little cracks and stuff. So, we may be using those in a minute. Continue to try to make it uniform and tighten it up. Oh. Bedroom. Ours. Me? Yeah, if you can't be quiet. See, I did have had these when I was your age and Granny Graham would have been doing them. She was like, hold up, hold up. Let me stop this hangout so I can go. Because <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> that's what I feel like saying right now. <laughs> Whew. Like, hold up, hold up. Let me, let me stop this hangout so I can. Could be some chilling, but I swear. 
I probably shouldn't say stuff like that on here. There's, I'm I'm violating someone's. I'm offending someone. I know I am, but it's my hangout. No, you're saying that right now. And you're gonna say it to the whole YouTube. Yeah, all YouTube's gonna see it. They're gonna see that. I feel like stuff. I'm hanging out, <laughs> beating your little butt. <laughs> I said, you're not supposed to hear children. Okay. Okay, you know what? I'll do this. Go get in a timeout. Yeah, get, no. get in a timeout. Look at that. Okay, anyway. We're getting down to the wire. We're, we got to hurry this up. I hope you guys... Upstairs. Go. Go upstairs. When you ask, hey, when you ask for like a toy or something, I'm gonna be like, um... Haven't sold enough bracelets or anything like that, or haven't done anything else. So, all right, yeah, I'm saying because she said finally you're making fun of me when I was doing my hangout. Come here. Come over here. Don't hit the camera though. Come over here. Come over here. All right. <laughs> Too far. Now move. We are getting close to the end. I'm gonna try to use my fingers to show that through there one more time, and then I'm probably start to start having to use a hemostats. Keeping my head on the camera. Sorry. All right. I got. Before I forget, I got some thank yous. Or something, I guess what you would call shout outs. First of all, I think give a shout out to my sister, aka Love Liz, for uh, being very creative and artistic. And I watched her make a lot of things, and I always said to myself, I'd like to know how to do that, but I don't know if I could. And I just got curious once. Um, decided to put the time in to. Uh, Figure out how some of this stuff is done. She inspired me to do it. And she's way more creative and gifted than I am. So check her stuff out. I love Liz on Facebook. That's L-O-V-E-L-I-Z-Z. -Z. She's also purchased me a, a lot of um, uh, some paracord and some bracelets and stuff. Shackle bracelets in different colors. I just think it's pretty neat. I'm going to be doing a video to show you how to use those. So, yeah, love Liz, love her death. If it wasn't for her, actually, I wouldn't be here. When I was a little kid. I was being hard-headed like some of my kids are, and I opened up a door when we were on a highway, and she yanked me. I was a baby, actually, but, yep. Uh, the next person I'd like to send a shout-out to and thanks to is uh, Sean Matthews of Board Paracord YouTube channel and the Paracord on uh, Facebook group. It's, it's an awesome community. Um, everybody there is very passionate about the craft of paracording. We share ideas and we even share some tutorials. We make tutorials for each other. It's um, yeah, a neat community. So if you ever get the chance, check that out. Check out Paracord on Facebook and also Board Paracord on YouTube. Uh, third person is going to be Mr. Coop. He has a YouTube channel, Mr. Coop's. Uh, yeah, Mr. Coop is his paracord channel. And I love his accent. Tell he's a good old boy. He knows what he's talking about. Um, he has some awesome uh, tutorials. Those who were the first guys that I really started watching. But they referred um, us all to this guy named, I think it's JT. I can't, I'm not going to try to say his name, but his channel was tying it all together, or T-I-A-T. Stop, guys. I'm talking. Stop. You're making way too much noise. Um, <clears throat> tying it all together. And a lot of times when he makes. Oh, a lot of times when he makes. A bracelet, he makes it without a buckle and either Sean or Mr. Coop or come back and say, this is how you do it with a buckle. Storm Drain's pretty good too. I've watched some of his videos. He doesn't say too much in his videos. Neither does T I A T tying it all together. And I'm gonna be honest, you know what I really like a lot about T I A T's videos? His music. And I want to know where he gets his music from. Where are we at on time? 
54 minutes. Never ever in my life did I ever think I'd be doing a video, a live broadcast for 54 minutes. But that is the power of today's technology. I remember years ago, it was hard to do videos. Hard enough to save them and upload them and edit them. Now, you actually can do a live broadcast. I'm using these because it's hard for me to get between that area. <laughs> <sighs> Will, are you over there laughing? Yeah. All right. Any more comments, William? You checking the comments? Yeah. Why is she laughing? <laughs> Why is she laughing? Jacked up. Go back and check what our mistake is. <sighs> and like I said, this doesn't take me that long to do. I uh, usually use a fig and get it done a lot quicker. Jig, not fig. All right, that goes over and under. Okay, looking good. You don't want to leave too much space in there because it's not going to look right, first of all. And, uh, going to decrease the integrity of your bracelet. She said she forgot about that. Thanks for the shout out. Thanks for the what? Shout out. Oh. <laughs> no problem at all. She said laugh because my mom didn't stop the video and took care of us on camera. I know. <laughs> I know she would. See, I see. My problem is I'd be gonna forget to stop the video, and then YouTube would be calling the local authorities. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, I'm gonna try to get one more. Like they said in that uh, movie, "Oh, brother, where art thou?" We're in a tight spot. I might, you know what? I'm going to leave it at that. I'm just going to leave it at this one. We're not going to go anymore. Okay? This is how I'm going to end it. I'm going to end this with a Cobra Knot, all right? My focus is getting on my nerves. I'm going to take all the focus off. Yeah. Cool. It's not changing. Look at that. I can move. All right.
I'm going to end this with the uh, Cobra knot. Okay. I'm do it with the pink over. Take the black under. And through that loop. Okay. Oh, hold on. That's not working out so well. All right. Pink over like this. Black under and through this loop put it back over pull them tight like that okay Ugh. that's how I'm gonna end it and we're gonna cut the ends let me check out this length real quick Cool, the length is just where I wanted it to be. We're gonna cut the ends with this tool. I'm gonna show you this tool again. See what it looks like? Got some thread in it. Snap, 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 snap. Snap, snap, snap. All right, we're gonna cut the ends with this, okay? You can get pretty much as close as you want to. Leave enough so you can get de decent bulge, but about right there. Okay, one clip. See how easy that was. All right, gonna get your finishing tool ready. You gonna get your torch ready? We're gonna burn. Burn, baby, burn. Just go with that, oh, burn, baby, burn. Mm. That should be good enough. Use your finishing tool. See? Not bad. Hold on. Skylar wants me to show off my other bracelets. Okay, we're going to cut this. That tool, that particular cutting tool, Kate, takes some getting used to, but it's, I love it. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> be careful with these torches. <laughs> Just ask my son. They're pretty easy to burn yourself with. All right, there you go. A pink and black shark draw bone. Now my son wants me to show you a few of our braces that we wear around here that we've made. And this is the Harbin. I watched uh, T-I-A-T, I think, do this one. This is black and orange, one of the school colors around here. See? This is uh, Solomon, two-color Solomon. This is, how do you say this? The Spider Trickster Bar. The Spider Trickster Bar. My 17-year-old made this one. I have yet to learn how to make this. I feel sad because I don't know how to make it. This is my one of my favorites, my Ohio State Color Sanctified. See, this is a snake knot. I used to call it Viceroy, but I guess correct uh, pronunciation is Viceroy. And blue and black. These are some of these are dirty. This is another snake knot Viceroy. This isn't dirty because this is uh, soaked in paraffin wax. And I'll also do a video of how you do that soaking in paraffin wax. This is a for me. I don't think it's as pretty as the uh, Ohio State one, but I think it looks a lot more rugged. 
So this is the advanced Sullivan. I mean, not Sullivan, but Solomon. Here's another spider trickster. I like the, the colors of that. My sub zero made that. And here's the one we just made, okay? Let me turn the camera back on me. Uh, I don't have to turn the camera back up on me. That's it for this video. Um, this was a live hangout. I hope you guys liked it. Um, comment below. In the future, I'll be giving more options in terms of how you can follow me. There'll be a um, optional email you can opt into to receive updates and videos and tips and stuff and uh, links to live hangouts like this. Like I said, I'm not going to sign off with Sweet Baby James anymore because I don't want to be accused of a copyright infringement from the Sean Hannity show. But this is Will Slace, William Slace, signing off saying, Paracoid, this. See ya. Dun, 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 dun.